Oh, typical. Hello, folks. Hang on a minute. Let me just get me thing on. <sighs> right. This is live, so anything can happen in the next half hour. Oh, dear. That's uh, technical difficulties. Sorry about that, fans. I wasn't going to do a video of this because, oh, cripes. Oh, I think I'm going to have to... <laughs> I knew this would happen. It's live and I think there's a delivery coming and guess what it is, folks? Hmm? Well, it could be another vacuum cleaner. Hang on. Just, just bear with me. It'll give you time to catch up. Yes, it's coming back. Right, hang on. We're just, we're about to have a live vacuum delivery. How exciting is that? I've turned off the light because, oh, it's Royal Mail. And it's coming from a company beginning with a D and ending in, in, in Sun. I don't know who it could be. Hoover, perhaps? I'm just going to have to close the door in a minute, folks. Looks like Blackpool Illuminations here. Hurry up. Oh, they take their time, don't they? Anyway, I'm going to be unboxing this. Oh, hang on. Sorry about that, folks. Hang on a minute. Um, right. <laughs> right. Oh, dear. Right, hang on a minute, folks. Just bear with, bear with. Uh, right, here's the box. I'm not going to open this live, though. It's from uh, Nosid. That's what it looks like to me, because it's back to front. It's a refurbished Dyson. But that's for another time. And also... Ah, this box has arrived as well. Two vacuums. Right, hang on a minute. Just. Oh, I knew I shouldn't. I, I knew I shouldn't have done this, Daisy. Really, I knew I shouldn't have because I'll tell you for what. I'm not looking at your comments, by the way. So, at the moment, I'll leave it till the end. Um. Yeah, I've, I've had technical problems with this thing starting and. Uh, um, yeah, I should have waited, shouldn't I, Daisy? But anyway, that's the two vacuums I was expecting. Yeah, I've had three, oh, I've had three, I've had three vacuums delivered today, folks. I'm sick. And this. Right, Daisy, off you go. Now, I thought this belongs to a vacuum that you'll probably see on Friday. Um, but it didn't arrive in time. And I just thought this was interesting. Because of what they packed, I'll have to save this. This is an old, old comic from when I was a little boy. Um, this is from January the 23rd, 1982, and it's a copy of The Dandy. You know, it's got uh, titles like Greedy Pig. They wouldn't allow that these days. The Bash Street Kids. Where's that? <laughs> That's Dennis the Menace. Ball Boy. <laughs> Billy Wiz. I wasn't really into uh, the Dandy comic, Nasher. I wasn't into the Dandy, I was more into Wizard and Chips and Cheeky comic. Harry, Harry and his hippo. You see, kids, kids used to keep hippos back in the 80s. It's very common to have a hippo as a pet. Look at this, all these old stuff. They've just, why couldn't they have used some rag from today? They've used all this vintage and it smells vintage. Look, Blenheim Palace there. Look, where the Lizard Queen lives. Well, no, she doesn't. Somebody lives there. I don't know. Somebody from the royal family. Oh, look at that. Simply stunning, is she? What's, what's this dated from, folks? I know. Get to what's in the box. You're shouting, I'm sure. I will do. There's no date on that. Well, we'll have a we'll have a look at that uh, comic, won't we? That lazy later, Daisy, Layla. Oh, Tom, Dick, and Sally. They're very familiar. Biffo the bear, Minnie the minx. Dear me. 
Oh, and it's a it's, it's a Beano as well as a Dandy. They still the Beano is still going actually. I don't know if a Dandy is, but uh, oh, this this looks quite sixties, doesn't it? Any of you interested in vintage? As I've said earlier, I can't. I'm not looking at your comments at the moment. I'll see if I can catch up with them at the end. So um, when I've unboxed this, I'll have a look at all the nasty things you're probably saying about me. Oh, look at that. That's a oh, typical, typical Essex couple, if Mr. Rust is watching. Uh, they could be his neighbours. Ta-da! Uh, right, well, I'll leave all this... Uh, I'll get my Elna press out and we'll uh, freshen all this. Oh, oh, my Lord, is it fate, folks? I just said Elna press, and what should I see? Ooh, that way. But an advert for Hoover Iron. Crikey, well that, that'll that press out nice. Oh look, and she's chained to it, bless her. Can you see how she's chained to the iron? But not anymore, not with the Hoover iron. Wow, there might be some more Hoover stuff in here. Right, well we'll look at that, well I'll look at that later folks. But that looks very 60s. Now, ugh. Daisy is just off camera. You see, I noticed this on the listing. They've written eBay on the box. Have they no idea that collectors don't want writing scrawled? I can't see you folks. I can't see what you're saying. These are cleaning tools for model 612. Um, I've pictured this on my Instagram. I opened that yesterday. There's some issues. I've already ordered a part for it I needed off eBay. Fortunately, somebody was selling the exact part that was broken. So uh, that was the main thing that was wrong with it. Um, this should have some belts in. So I've got now a 612. I thought I'd do an older vacuum. I don't know why they've got bags in this, because it doesn't take bags. Not the one I've got. Now, I'm all out of do, but let's... Uh, there we are. Shuffle up the bus. We've got some... Uh, Qualtex. Oh, that's sealed. It looks quite an old uh, Qualtex uh, pack, doesn't it? There, but there for the uh, Hoover Juniors. Oh, look, look at them. Not very good artists, were they? I've never seen one that looks like that. This is for other Hoover uprights. Not genuine. And BioLean. More Hoover Junior. These seem in fairly good nick. Lots of belts. Oh, lot, my lordy. Lorks a lordy, Daisy May. Loads of belts here. Oh, I'm going to give them a sniff. Oh, Ooh, don't you just love the smell of rubber? I know Mr. Rusty does, the dirty so-and-so. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if they're genuine. Oh, they are genuine. Well, that one is. Hopefully that will fit my 612. And look at all these! Loads of belts! And one that's uh, individual. Oh, but look at the look at the state of state of that rubber band. It's perished. And there's a a unifit belt. Right, look at these. Pretty good nick. Oh, I think this is Bakelite, you know. And a lovely chocolate brown colour. Needs a good old clean up, so that's your sort of all purpose brush. Quick weighs a ton. Weighs a ton. This is metal. Hey, that's a that is very good condition for better condition than the vacuum anyway. Look at that folks. Shiny, shiny metal. Ooh. Oh, Daisy's bored with it now. Cripes, look at that. Bit dusty, but I think that's unused. Can you see that folks? Ooh, that's as soft as a baby's bottom. Oh no, I don't really feel baby's bottoms. What do I, what am I referring? It's as soft as Daisy. Daisy, that's as soft as your fur, darling. Oh, I know it's another one of these. She got all excited, thinking I was going to unbox something different, but no, no, here's a, a very, very long handle. I think these are all genuine. Well, let's see, shall we, folks? Where do they, how, it goes in that way. Ooh, that was a big click. Look at that. Wow. This is, this is the finest quality. Isn't it, Daisy May? Oh, you can put it in the other way, look. Look at that. Forget your Dyson click. This is vintage Hoover clicks. 
I'm not referring to the Hoover Click cordless vacuum, of course not. And another, that is in uh, lovely condition. In fact, it doesn't look used. And look at this, that's metal. We can have, that's the bit, this fits onto the where the bag goes, this is the blower outlet. And what's broken on the one I unboxed yesterday was this part, the whole metal bit, so the bag wasn't staying on, but somebody on eBay has just sold me a new one. But uh, I don't see many of those about, so I'll be able to be uh, having great fun blowing things up. Not like Mr Rusty, if you saw what he blew up in a recent video. I think he's trying to tell us something, you know, folks, subliminally, Mr Rusty. I think he's going to be coming out in a future video. And you're welcome, Rusty, if you want to do such a thing. But if not, you stay in your cupboard, all miserable. Look at this. It's wood and Bakelite. That's been, has that been used? That's been, oh yeah, that's been well used, look. Look at that. That's going to take me a while to get all that out, isn't it? Ah, the feel of lovely. Oh look, there's Daisy making a guest appearance. And finally, oh hang on, what's that? Oh yeah, that's the bit that goes into the, uh, that's the converter that slides, it goes into the side of um, the 612. And uh, yeah, insert to here, so it just slide it in. That's obviously your old fashioned braided hose, but that, look at the condition of that folks. If, if the vacuum was as in good a condition as this, I'd have been well pleased. But it was funny, I just thought, um, I, I knew I had the 612 coming, and then this was put on a, as a buy it now for £20, and I don't think that's bad. So that will um, improve the completeness. If it had the instructions in there, that would have been excellent, but well, you never know amongst all those old dandies, etc. Well, that's all I'm unboxing, folks, but I've got a bit dice on. I keep saying die soon. I shouldn't really. They're not as bad as that. Anyway, I've gone a bit dice and crazy. Um, I've had loads. Well, I've got this one. Ugh. I don't know if that's plugged in. It might be. Oh, no. Shall I? Shall I show you? It's very good, actually. Um, it's the, it's the quietest dice that I've had, and I do like it. Um, it's their latest, the light ball. It's not that light. It's, um, it's a lovely cleaner to use. I have done the unboxing, and I'll be doing a little bit of a demo in the unboxing. I've had some rather nasty comments of late. The Pope bloke, he can, he can still watch my videos, unfortunately, but he'll find his band who made the nasty comments. He did remove them, but too late I'd seen them. So he's banned from commenting on all my YouTube channels, on Instagram, Facebook. Oh, and that's it, yes. And if I knew his eBay doodah, I'd be banned from that as well. Some people are. I don't tolerate nasty folk. So that's a good, it is a good vacuum, that. I have to say, for £200, I wouldn't pay the full retail price, whatever they're asking for it. But for 200 knicker, folks, the light ball. Yeah, it's my favourite Dyson Upright, I have to say. So I've got that. And because this was going cheap at Argos at the moment, <sighs> £150 that was from our goose, and I got a £10 coupon. Uh, it's the muscle head. I didn't know it, come, it comes with a normal doodah head as well. I'm not opening this now, folks, so don't get all giddy. It comes with the regular dual mode floor tool, but also the muscle head. But I know they've changed that on the later. They've got a, a pneumatic, spelt with the P. A, a new type of head, but it's still self-adjusting. Anyway, I thought 150 nicker for a muscle head. What's it? What's it? DC28C. Because I got rid of the um, DC28C I um, showed on my channel ages ago. But yeah, it's got the muscle head tool. Um, and the air Dyson that just arrived live. I'm not showing you it, but hang on. Uh, 
is this one. Um, this one is, I think, it's a DC-19 um, and it's refurbished. So it'll be interesting to see what a refurbished Dyson looks like. Um, refurbished by Dyson. I'm hoping it's going to look more or less new. Uh, so this is a DC-19, it's an old model, but this was very cheap. I think it's 120 because at the moment, at the time of making this live video, I think it's still running today, on eBay UK, Dyson have 20% off everything um, from their eBay shop. It's mainly refurbished, so it's got one or two new things. I tried to buy another vacuum actually, but I'd already used the coupon, so you can't do it twice. So this is um, a DC-19 all floor. And finally, oh dear. Hang on. I'll get to your um, comments and if you've got any questions or you want a shout out, I'll get to those at the end, folks. I won't, um, I can't unbox this, but this one is hopefully um, a Hoover from the 90s or early, yeah, I think it's from the 90s, this, but it's new in the box. So you'll be seeing that. Not a particularly um, expensive model, well it was to buy now, but it wasn't back then. Pretty basic, no cord rewind, but that will be coming up. Right folks, oh, right that's uh, got me all of a dither. Let's have a look at your doobies then, where's me thing so I can see what uh, you're saying. Uh, is that the right thing to press? I think it is, okay, we'll give you the shot of nothing in particular. You can peruse the ball if you want. Have a look at my ball there. It's got some muck in it, hasn't it? Look, oh heck. You see, this is what I, this is what my videos would look like if I didn't have editing software. And that looks like that's out of focus. Oh, it's going in focus now. So here's the ball. Andrew, I've seen Andrew saying, hi, Dyson has to be the best along with Pneumatic Henry. Mm, well, I wouldn't say they are. I, can't, I couldn't really name the best. A lot of people say, what's your favourite vacuum? What's the best vacuum? And, you know, I couldn't possibly tell them. Right, hang on then. Let's have a look. Uh, um, chat viewing options. Where are... Oh, here we are. Oh, look. Oh, Becco. Well, off you go, Becco. Off for coffee. You do that. I'll have to, I'll, I'll have to delete my shout-out to you in the video I made on Friday. Plug in your channel then. Oh, right, I can't go down. Oh, can I go down to the thingy? I'm just trying to get to the doobie. It's going to be all... Anyway, folks, so if you don't want to read the comments, you can leave now, because that's all I'm going to be doing, folks, now. Oh, heck, there's a lot. It's half term, isn't it? So some of you will be... Well, I don't... I'll just go back to as far as I can go. It just seems to be um, a doo-doo. Right. Oh right, I've got to the I've got to the first comment because the vac Matt says he's first. I'm first. Ben, Ben Jamin, exciting. Uh, I'm gonna have to take my glasses off so I can see. <laughs> uh, Bibic twenty seven. Hello, hello. Tom Vacuum. Hello, vac Matt Dyson. Ben Jamin, check box for damage before signing. Oh, too late. He's gone. He couldn't wait to get out the out the way. He thinks I'm a, a mental. Hello Molly, says the vac mat. Tom Vacuum is using a Rainbow D4SE, in case anyone's interested. Anyone interested? Uh, well, I can't pronounce your first name. Is it Gaylan? G-A-E Lan Patel? Hey? Uh, the vac mat is barking. What? Woof woof! Oh, and Becco, the real side to your dogs. Well, yes, they're not all perfect. Uh, Elliot Carver can can rely on something to disturb live video. O V C O V Q G sorry hello Roger Jake Ali is that or Ale hey and a smiley face plus gaming Minecraft hi Liam Winger hello the dogs are good Liam Winger has put Hoover Ruby has put Bissell Jake. Let's put Kirby Avalier. Hi to Edward O'Connor. So I pronounce your name wrong. Is it Galen? I have a shark vac. Then Steam 
I have a shark, oh, shark vac and steam, I think that is, is it? And Abyssal Symphony, and a shark rotator Liftwave Pro, and a Dyson DC33. Mm. Such a tease get hoovering. Well, I've done a little thing of the ball. That looks out of focus to me, that ball. I don't know what to do about it. Ooh, I can zoom in. Still out of focus. I'm having problems with my, oh, heck, I shouldn't have done that. Because now I've lost what, where I was. Yeah, this is going to be boring for everyone. Right, I'm just going to just... What's the time now? Because I went on for far too long in the last one. I said, I'm finishing now, I'm finishing now, and... What I'm going to do, because I'm going to fall asleep uh, with the rest of you, I'll just move that down a bit, so I don't have to be on the tiptoes. There we go. Right, hang on. I think I've had all the deliveries I'm going to get. Yes, I've had some very exciting uh, deliveries of late. And some very expensive ones, too. Right, sorry. Oh, here's Be Becco. Vintage tools. They are vintage. Vacuum cleaner collector knows what the tools are off. Well, everyone knows now. Ben Jamin, I might be odd, but I'm not a tool. Well, that's your opinion, Ben Jamin. People say I'm a tool, too. My vlogs, I prefer a Dyson. Meet me by the comments in the afternoon, says Ruby. Well, where are the comments? I, I don't know. I can't remember what the one was. Paulina, do you know if I can wash the cylinder from Vax Air Cordless Lift? As far as I know, you can, but make sure it's dry, 100% dry, before reassembling it into the cleaner. Failing that, just use a damp cloth if you're a bit unsure. Jake Alley, or is Alley, is that Alley? I love my Kirby Centria Dyson DCO3, Hoover Jr. and my Kirby Avalier. Hey Roger, how are you? Well, I'm here and I'm alive. That's all that we need to uh, concern ourselves with. Becco, ooh, a six on two coming. I've got one to do something. Yes, I saw that, uh, Becco, when I was uh, having a look at uh, some YouTube videos and I thought, oh, is that all he's done? He's not done a follow up, but I know how that is. So I'm not uh, complaining. Um, anyway, has anyone dyed a vacuum cleaner bag? Because I've got a grey one with my 612 and it's not the original one and I know it should have been brown and I'm thinking of getting some dye for it. Has anyone had an experience of successfully dyeing a Hoover bag? <laughs> right. Where's Roger? I'm here behind the camera where I should be. Uh, yes. November's fact. Oh, that's the um, yes, the Hoover convertible. I had that model in absolutely perfect condition, and also made my own Hoover convertible from all the bits because in the 80s Hoover reintroduced it in a burgundy colour with a headlight, and you couldn't buy it, but all the parts were available. So I bought all the parts, and it cost me over 300 pounds in the 80s to buy all the parts. But I didn't need the motor because I got a motor from somewhere else. But that went. Who fool, Roger? <sighs> Becco Hoover used those tools for years. My 262 had the exact same set. My 375 has the same too. In fact, Matt, I'm at Mighty Fixing Seven Henrys and Sebos. And Becco is writing a test completion report. Everyone in Becco's office, no, everyone in Sam Watson's office is skiving. He's not working. I bet they're used to it. How do you rate DC40? Well, it's no, nowhere near as good as that. The DC40 was the best. The new MK2 DC40 was the best Dyson upright I'd used up at that point. But that <clears throat> is certainly very good. Is the hose airtight, says Becco. I don't know. It looks it. Hello, Mike. Um, oh, vacuum cleaner collector fixer's going. Second gen hooray. Don't know what that means. Sheer squirrel TV. Do you mean this? This? This ball? Stop doing that, Roger, because you're missing it. OMG, another Dyson. Oh, there's loads of Dysons, but I'm not going to give all loads of Dysons. It'll be spread out through the coming months. I'm not going to be all Dyson. Jake, oh, I think I've given you a shout out already. Andrew, oh yeah, I've done that. So I'm back to where I was at the beginning. Do you think Kirby is good? Well, they're good carpet cleaners, but they're a bit heavy and noisy. 
and awkward to attach the tools. Uh, who is that the white sprint? Oh yes it is Becca, I knew, I knew, um, you see I don't like to say what, I, it was ridiculously expensive that. <coughs> Not as expensive as another that guy got. Oh no, it's about a hundred and something pounds. I'm going to cough. Another live show. Uh, uh, hang on. <coughs> that is the white sprint. Couldn't resist it. I've spent far too much. Liam Minger. If Hoover made a freedom cordless, why don't they make a power glide cordless? Well, there is a, a new Hoover f uh, cordless upright. Isn't there? Oh, what do, you, what do you mean freedom? You mean power gliders and the old-fashioned power glide. I might be getting some Hoover products because I'm now an official Hoover tester. I've signed up for that. I was invited to join their test program and I'm waiting for a list of things. So it could be vacuums, washers. I said I didn't want any cookers or stuff. I did say I'd have a microwave. Uh, right. Hello Louise. Oh, Louise is here with her spanner. So Louise is guarding the comments. Hello washer sensor. Um, oh, I can't pronounce your sir your name. I can pronounce your surname. White. Eurasia. Is that why are shark hoovers so expensive? Well, they're not always. There's often they are often on offer. They start off very expensive, and then you'll suddenly find they've got 150 pounds off or dollars wherever you live. Uh huh. When are we going to see a Nito? Well, I doubt it. They're too, I can't afford, unless Nito, who are now owned by Vorwerk, or however you, however you pronounce that, they bought them, you know, that German manufacturer, and um, I, so I don't think I'll be doing a Nito. Yes, it is a Dyson light ball. Uh, Bibik27 is from Russia. Um, still, um, am I still happy with the AEG washer and dryer? Yes, I've used the washer today, and I used the dryer yesterday. What is your name? Well, if you don't know that by now, I can't tell you. Read the comments, you'll see it. Becco, uh, Roger, I'll scan and send you the 612 manual I have in case you need instructions. Oh yes, I will need the instructions, thank you, Sam. In fact, I was, well, I don't know if you still want it, but you mentioned when you had your, you mentioned in your DC04 Zorbster video that you paused my video to see some instructions and I was gonna scan those for you, actually. If you, if you want those, um, but you said you were probably going to sell it. But if you want me to scan, when I find the scanner, I'll do that. Uh, Bibic likes Bosch. Do you know, uh, Pauli Paulina, and do you know what can cause a loss of suction on this air lift? Well, it's a vac, so anything. Just make, uh, first thing to check is the filters are clean and check you haven't got any blockages. Um, if that's okay, then it could be something a bit more serious. Oh, Becco's about dyeing vacuum bags. Never dyed one, but the fabric on those, it's not, a, it's not a genuine Hoover replacement, no. It will look different. I'm gonna try it, because it's not a genuine, it says commercial on the back, it's not a Hoover one. Which vacuum band is my favorite, asks Andrew. Can't answer that. If you're talking about older cleaners, it has to be Hoover. Um, more modern. Yeah, I used to say Sibo, but I've gone a bit off those, that company. I've gone off Sibos. I've still got lots of Sibos to feature. I just think they've, um, they're just, since the launch of their X7, yeah, X7 and X8, I think, no. Can't you do anything better than that? Oh, hello, Hoover Lux. Hey, Roger, how's the doggies? Well, they were barking earlier. You get a shout out, Hoover Lux, not in a, in a Hoover Pure Power video. I take the P out of you a little bit. Um, I copy your trademark um, greeting, but I couldn't remember it, so I ended up saying, how do? Right, Louise, hello Roger, how are you getting on with your shark cordless? I love mine, it's so brilliant. Yeah, I have been using it, but I'm afraid I've been using the Dyson recently. Jake, why oh why? Oh, what is the best dishwasher? Well, Bosch and Miele do some good ones. Um, oh yes, Hoover Lux saw them briefly. You probably heard them barking. Um, would you recommend using any Hoover without the HEPA filter? Well, if it's got the HEPA filter in it, I would use it. But if you don't have any allergies, it won't do it any harm. As long as it's a um, post-motor HEPA, 
then the only thing that will happen is the air that comes out of the machine may be a bit dirtier and you might be getting a slight carbon dust in the air, but it never did me any harm. Kevin Eaton, hello Roger from America. I have a Hoover Air and my only complaint is the beta bar is hard to clean. Yes, I'm not sure if it comes out on a Hoover Air, does it? Don't know. Becco, re-instructions. I'd love to see a scan, although it's not urgent now. The one I have will be sold, but I'll keep the hopper and grab another if it's cheap and less faded. J1001, hey, what machine would you rather have? Slash recommend. Dyson Lightball or Shark Duo Clean Powered Lift Away? The Shark is £50 more, but comes upgraded to True Pet. That is very tricky. Now, they're both good machines. I do like the Shark duo clean powered lift away and really i like the normal powered lift away without duo clean the thing i don't like about sharks and they need to sort it out sharpish is the filtration it's a cyclonic system on them the filters get dirty very quickly which is why my mum has a dyson fluffy she was going to get one of the shark cordless and i just thought it's going to be a bit too big for her a bit too heavy to hold and i also thought about the constant filter cleaning so that's why i said while the fluffy was on offer, get that. If Shark could improve their cyclonic efficiency so the filters don't need frequent washing, then I would go with the Shark. But at the moment, this Dyson ball, I really, really like it. It's a lot quieter than the Shark. But what this doesn't have that the Shark has is the powered lift away feature. And I wouldn't be surprised if Dyson do something similar. And certainly, I would not be surprised if they produce a head like the Duo head on the Shark with a combined normal head like that and a fluffy head. Watch this space, folks. I bet they'll do that. Right, hang on. Da, da, da. Do you like the Dyson V8 Absolutes? I can't pronounce your name, I'm afraid. Um, I haven't used it. I'm, I, I'm, now I've used the V6 Fluffy. It's very good. I don't know if the V8 is worth the extra money. It has some improvements over the, the one I have. So I'm sure it's a very good vacuum, but at the moment it's over £500 in the UK and there's no way I will spend that money on a cordless vacuum. Hoover Lux, my, my Desert Island vacuum is the Hoover Turbo Master Total in Cotswold Beige. Oh, I've got tons of them. Tons of them, new in the box. Yeah, that caused a lot of trouble, didn't it? I don't care. Right, I love yours too. My what? Uh, you can't see it. Um, OVG, how's your mum doing in a new house? Well, very well, moaning, as usual. Um, there is a new video of my mum's house when I took a load of vacuums, actually. So for any of you who are not subscribed to my Rogers Bits and Doings channel, the next video up will be showing me hiring a huge, huge Mercedes van and stacking it with vacuum cleaners and taking it to their new home. So I've still got tons more vacuums here, though. Becco? Um, ha I've tried to copy Hoover Lux's greeting before. It's quite tricky. Ended up going a bit. Ended up going a bit bottom. Ended up going a bit bottom and going on about exploding carrots. A bit bottom. Well, I've been watching bottom actually on um, my catch-up thingy on Now TV. I'd forgotten how funny it was. I've, I'm only up to the episode where the gas man comes round, and uh, uh, that's quite funny, isn't it? All of them. Well, oh, I don't know what you're referring to, Hoover Lux. I've just forgotten what you said. I'm just trying to get through. <laughs> do you have a Nutri Bullet? Yes, I do. Gathering dust. I also have something Shark sent me, and it's still in the box. They sent me it months and months ago. Some Shark version with all the bits. I don't know where it is, actually. I might, uh, for my New Year's resolution, I might open it and use it. Jake, Ali, do you know who Healy Lynch? No. How's the great... Uh, Louise, how is the great vacuum cleaner Exodus 2 coming along? Well, Louise, last weekend, as I just mentioned, I took a load of vacuums, which I'll be showing you um, showing you on my ch our other channel. Can you make a video about all your Dysons? Well, that is the plan, yes. I've got all the Dysons here. I've got loads, though, and they're all fairly new to me now. Um, but, yeah, I will do and show you all them together. I, I plan to do that for my, all my Mealers, all my Sibos, all my Pneumatics, because um, they're all still here at the moment. Do you use a plug-in air freshener, says Jake? No, I don't. I do use Yankee Candles, but even and, and I've got a Yankee Candle burn uh, electric thing that you put the tarts, melt tart things in. But 
Uh, I don't really like those plug-in air fresheners. Uh, I can't, sorry, I can't pronounce. Tok Tokio Piki. Oh, well, you're from Latvia. You know who I mean. Hello to, to anyone watching in Latvia. Louise, I would love it if you could do a video featuring all your shark vacuum cleaners. Yes, well, that will come up. Hello, Sarah. Um, Yo, girl, Steph. <laughs> Buying Electrox Y-Track Backsaver Vacuum. They look good, but over here in America, we have no Eureka vacuum, so you don't know what Electrolux is like anyway. Buy one of them. Well, we don't have Electrolux brand in this country anymore. I've got Electrolux vacuums on my channel, but the Electrolux brand does not exist in the UK, but it does under the AEG brand. I know what the Electrolux Y-Track is, but what breed is your dog? We'll have two. One is a long hair miniature Dachshund, that's Daisy, and Molly is a cross between a poodle and I think it's a Scotty dog. I think they call her a Scotty Poo. Don't they, Molly? Where are you? Oh, she's probably hiding. Oh, no, she's over there. Right, well, let's have a look. Uh, nearly going to go. I think that's long enough, half an hour over. I was going to say something. Mm. So anyway, yeah, you've seen me unbox. If, if you join me later, if you've only just joined me, I've unboxed, I've unboxed some tools. I've shown you some vintage Beano. I've also shown, which I'm going to save, a vintage Hoover iron. And, uh, oh look, I've got another Dyson here. Dyson. Dyson Fluffy. Ooh. I'll probably hate Dyson next week. Ah. But I do like that. I do like the ball. Go and rush out and buy that, folks, for £200. Don't buy it if it goes up over £200. It's not worth it. But for £200, it's a lovely cleaner. Do you think you'll get Freedom Cordless? Mm. Only if Hoover give me one free, which is a possibility. As I said earlier, I'm now officially part of Hoover's testing team. Oh, uh, sorry, I can't pronounce your name. I'll just have to say 2000, uh, 2006. She has a corgi, just like the Queen. Uh. Oh, thank you for best vacuum reviews I've seen, I guess. Well, you're not, you know, there's some people that don't like me. I've, yes. Do, 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 uh. Yeah, I won't mention his name, but he knows if he's watching. I just don't tolerate it. If you don't like, you know, there's plenty of channels I don't like anymore. But I just don't watch them. I just think, oh, well, they're not my cup of tea. I don't feel the need to tell the person, you haven't done what I want you to do, despite the fact I don't pay for any, any of your content. But I'm going to put some nasty comments about your personal life and be really nasty to you because you're not doing what I want. Well, I didn't respond to this person. A few people did respond back, but he deleted the comments. Anyway, he's out. He's out. As anyone who, who says nasty things is out because there's no need for it. Oh, Louise will always hate Dyson. Louise, well, hate, hate is a, I wouldn't use hate. You know, it's only a vacuum, you know. And you don't have to apologize. People can like or not like whatever they like. People can like Dyson's, they can like Hoover's, they can like Sharks, they can hate Electrolux. It, it doesn't matter, does it? Grand scheme of things, they're just vacuum cleaners. For goodness sake, they're just vacuums. Uh, will Hoover bring back the Sensortronic? Well, they possibly will bring back the Sensortronic name. Hoover do like reusing names, don't they? But they will not bring back the iconic Sensortronic that started in 1982. Of course they won't. And they were rather, they wouldn't bring them back now because they, they, they were very big and heavy, bagged. People want lightweight now and they want bagless and now they really want cordless, don't they? No, the Silent Energy, I've got one, Alex. I've got that blue and white Silent Energy. And that's not, e uh, it's quite good, it's quiet. It's nothing to do with the Sensortronic. It looks completely different, but it's uh, it's not even a Hoover design, that, because I've seen it branded um, ETA on Amazon um, German website, but it's in a nice chocolate brown colour. So it's not even a Hoover, I'm sorry to say. Um, Sarah would quite like the Dyson hairdryer, but it's so expensive. If I had any hair, Sarah, I would. Um, I have a Dyson DC50. 
No, but it's worth the money. Well, I got mine cheap, Alex. It's all right. It's it was not. It's pretty good for Hoover. What do you think of the Dyson DC50? I don't think I've had the DC50, but it's very similar to the small ball that I've got that I've not tested yet. Um, it was okay, but I think they improved it when they when they made the small ball. They made the small ball. They gave it a, a, a longer cord, I think, and a longer hose. Dysons are the Apple of Hoover, overpriced. Apple of Hoovers. They're, yes, they are overpriced, some of them, but they're not. I think they're, they're, I think they're changing their strategy with pricing. Hence, £200 for a small ball. Hence, the Dyson Fluffy was £200. Their prices are coming down, I think. I've no, they, I mean, they're expensive for some people, and you can get much, much cheaper vacuums. But I think Dyson are lowering their prices slowly. Uh, would you get a Dyson Airblade? No, not unless I wanted to convert my um, downstairs toilet into a public loo. Uh, Nick Art, 2203. Hello, Roger. I usually miss your live shows, but not this time. Look forward to all the video of moving all your vacuums on Roger's Bits and Doings. Did you see the Ice Dyson Airblade tap? Well, I have seen it, I think, and I've seen a picture. Um, yeah, Dyson have got some uh, new things coming out. There's some new, um, as I said, I think they're going to be introducing a dual roller brush on their uprights. They're doing something with their cyclones again, and they're possibly introducing an articulating joint on their uprights, similar to the one on their new cylinders. There's lots coming up in the world of vacuums. Alex, I own the red and silver The One Cleaner. It's great. Well, it's... As you, as you probably know, Alex, I do have that uh, The One Pet. Um, two of those now. It's good because it's, it's quite quirky, but uh, it wasn't very successful for Hoover. Do you know the... Tyson by Tony Tony is going to make our car. I'm not sure what you mean. Do you mean Dyson? And I know Dyson are supposed to be looking at making an electric car, but that won't be for years. They took long enough with their robotic vac, didn't they? Uh, why? Jake says, why is Dyson still DC? It is the root cyclone. Yeah, I wonder, yeah. Does DC stand for dual cyclone then? Hmm, possibly, I don't know. Well, they're changing the names because this is not a DC, is it? This, they call this a small ball. Um, I think they're changing, I, I think they're dropping the DC's the name. Because that's a small ball, and, oh no, sorry, that's a light ball, and there's a small ball, and there's the big ball, and there's, uh, it's all balls, as somebody pointed out to me in a Thuda. Uh, Matthew has the Dyson DC50 Animal and the DC35. They're both great. I've still got my DC35 somewhere. Oh, Louise says, Dyson might be in trouble with Shark if they try to recreate a duo clean system. Well, you'd think Hoover in the USA would be in trouble with Shark, wouldn't you, Louise? Have you seen Hoover's latest offering in the USA? It's a blatant rip-off of the Shark-powered lift-away. In fact, you, if you look at it, you'd think, oh, that's a Shark. And then you see it's got Hoover absolutely... They've just copied them almost down to the, the, the finest detail. Ridiculous. Uh, can you do a bed bug video review? Uh, what? I don't have any bed bugs, sorry. Um, oh, me, I, I mean, did you buy 2020 Dyson's going to have a car? Yes, I've read somewhere about Dyson um, looking into making electric car. Kate Turner, Katie Turner. Hi, Roger. Just wondering what you do with all your hoovers. Do you sell them? Well, I plan on getting rid, but I'm not going on eBay to sell for several reasons, because there's people on eBay, and I've seen it recently, there's children on eBay who bid on their parents' accounts, ridiculous amounts of money, and then they, they, they say, oh, I can't have it, and then people are having to relist, so I don't want that hassle, I don't want the 20% taken off me from PayPal and eBay fees, so if I get rid of any, they'll probably just be sold privately um, on Facebook. But um, once I've sorted out the vacuums I've got, there will be some to sell, but probably none that will be any interest to most collectors. Sarah Bailey says, small, fuff, small fluffy balls. Well, how can you tell? How can you tell, Sarah? I'm behind the camera. 
Alex says, now nah, I don't think the Dyson car out by 2020, it takes years to develop a car. Well, you might, they might have been developing it for years, Alex. We don't know what they get up to in that uh, top secret place. Benjamin, sorry you've fallen out of love with Sibo. Is there something? I haven't fallen out of love. I'm just a bit disappointed with Sibo. I'm sure I'll probably get an X7 and I'm sure it'll be an improvement on the X4, but it's not as big a, a, as improvement I would like to see. And Sibo and Mila need to start looking at cordless vacuums. I don't think Sibo will do bagless. At least Mila have done bagless, but they need to look at cordless because that's what everyone else is doing. That's what people are looking for at the moment. Um, Katie, I'm looking for a shark pet one. Well, I'm, no, I'm not planning on selling any sharks at the moment, Katie. I don't really want to split the family up. Just that shark often do good offers on new ones. You can pay in installments and they give you a free gift and you can send it back if you don't like it. Uh, well, you, can I be your friend? I love vacuums and watching. Well, you can be my friend if you want, but just on, just be my uh, YouTube friend and uh, sum up my videos. Get a Sony Ab A A B Abio Abo. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Rings a bell. Not sure what it could be. I don't think it's a vacuum. Louise, have you tried selling on Gumtree? No. Well, I don't really want a load of strangers coming around my house. <laughs> Jake says sometimes you can be a bit rude. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. See, I don't mean to be. If some people take things that I say the wrong way, uh, if I'm being rude, people will know about it. Sometimes I can make a silly joke and somebody will take it the wrong way because they don't understand that I'm just being silly. I, I'm not um, rude. I don't think I am. I try and make a joke and sometimes the joke goes a bit wrong. But I don't be rude. I'm not rude to people like some people are rude to me. What I do with people who have been rude to me, I completely cut them out, block them. I don't, I don't be rude about. Occasionally, I have sent the odd link to a rude video for them to watch, but then I don't tend to get involved. Alex, what about what about the Hoover? What? What about? Oh, oh, Alex is saying to Katie, what about Hoover, Katie? Their cleaners are good. Well, that's Alex's opinion, Katie. Some are good, some are not so good, and I've used a lot. Sarah Bailey, not a fan of Gumtree, all sorts of odd people turning up. I know, you could have Rusty Skull turning up, couldn't you? <gasps> Can you imagine him turning up on your door? Apparently, somebody, uh, I've forgotten to answer him, but somebody wants us, Rusty and I, to do a video together. Well, if this person wants to spend money on a first-class train ticket to Essex for me and a couple of nights accommodation at a nice hotel, then maybe something can be done. Rusty will have to go through some sheep dip before I meet him, of course. He looks very dirty. And I, I, I don't know. I'd have to have a chaperone with me. Cause I think Rusty's having a bit of a nervous breakdown, bless him. Right. Um, do you have a pink Henry Hoover? No, the coolest dolphin. I don't have a pink Henry Hoover. I do have a pink Hetty Hoover. There may be a pink Henry Hoover coming out. That's the new transgender Henry I think Pneumatic are introducing. Um, Hoover Lux absolutely loves my mum's new kitchen. Well, it's getting there. You'll see it again in the next video. She's got a new table for it, but she's had some new sockets put in. It'll be okay when it's finished. Uh, do I like corded, cordless or corded? I like them both, but I don't think at the moment there is a cordless cleaner I'd be happy owning as my only vacuum. You know, the Shark one picks up well and some of the Dysons, but I think you need for the deep clean, a mains powered one as well. But they're good for whipping round. <laughs> Hoover Lux likes my new kitchen flooring. I'm not all that much of a fan. They laid it the wrong way, I think. It should have been laid the other way. It's all right, but it's uh, a bit awkward to clean. Oh, a robot dog. Oh, that's that Sony thing. Oh, yeah. I've got two real dogs, um, Liam. I don't need any robotic ones. Ben Jamin, can you give us vacuuming technique hints? <laughs> well, no, not really. Most people just whip round really, really quick and if it looks clean, that's all that matters to them. But if you want to do a deep clean, I'd go slowly, that's one tip, go slow, backwards and forth. And then for extra deep clean, go the opposite direction, you know, go, uh, go up and down your room, slowly, and then 
go from side to side, like crisscross, and then you'll get more of the dirt out. But slow, slow and sure wins the race. Hooverlux, where is it? Hooverlux says, I'd be very happy if Rusty turned up on my door. Darn those legs. Well, I think, you know, Rusty might appear in Adonis on the videos, but I have a feeling that he isn't, you know. I've got better legs than him, but I just don't have to flaunt them. I've got cycling legs. I've got thighs you could crack walnuts with. But I believe that people tune in to watch the vacuums rather than check my gorgeous Adonis body out. Uh, anyway, I sold Rusty a sofa, apparently, in DFS. I don't know how I got down there, but I did. Uh, Katie, Roger, do you use the robot Hoover? Um, not at the moment. I have been. I've been using, well, I have been using my Scuba quite a bit, and I've been using that Roomba one, but not the Mila one. That's not very good. Uh, what's the weather? It's raining in Lat Latvia. Well, here it's not raining, but it's got, there is some blue sky, but there's some clouds as well. Um, uh, Vax, something cordless any good? I wouldn't personally really recommend Vax cleaners, to be honest. The coolest dolphin, what hoover is that blue one on screen? This one, it's a Dyson light ball. Uh, it is very good. What's the best deep cleaner? Well, I've had loads, but my current favourite is Bissell. Um, the Bissell, whatever it's called, Revolution. It's a bit noisy, but I like that one. That's the one I use. Uh, Mark, 2EOPIA. Uh, Where do people get these uh, names? What's wrong with just Mark? Or Mark PIA. I don't know what that means anyway. Hello, Mark. I like your reviews. You're very, you're very funny and helpful, very educational. Keep up the good work. Dysons are good. I've had one for 10 years and have a Dyson washing machine. Ooh. Yes, they look quite uh, funky, those Dyson's washing machines with the counter-rotating wash tabs. Hooverlux is laughing. <laughs> is your electric bill quite expensive after all your reviews? Not really. Um, no, I don't think. I don't pay the electric bill. <laughs> but I've changed all my lights are LEDs and um, a vacuum doesn't use that much electricity and I don't have it on for long. Um, what burns quite a lot of electricity is my...